Hey folks, Matt from right of the image.com. On the heels of the last video I just did about the 90D uh, regarding the viewer spec 90D, the 90D that you guys built. Actually, phenomenal specs. I would I would buy one in a heartbeat. We're talking about, you know, Michael led that off with 28 megapixels, 65 cross points AF, uh, non-cropped 4K with dual pixel AF. Again, that was a nod to the fact that the M50 does not have DPAF in 4K and 10 frames per second. And we had Hue with in-body stabilization, better dynamic range, um, 120 frames per second at 1080, singing history teacher, um, clean HDMI out from Nedlieb, and Carl wanted higher ISO abilities in for low light. So we spec'd a really cool 90D, one that I would probably not hesitate to buy. I bet you I would go out and get one right now. The only uh, caveat to that is if I was to hold back was if Canon's coming out with a mirrorless that would be essentially along these specs. And that is a big question. Wayne McCormick wrote in another comment um, on the 90D video I did a few weeks ago. 90D may well be the Canon swan song for DSLR before they move on to mirrorless. Or the 90D may be mirrorless. Canon almost nailed it with the M5. If they just give it a max shutter speed to match the 80D, say 1 8,000th versus the 1 4,000th for the M5, and give it equivalent build quality and weatherproofing, they will be there. If the M5 replacement does these two things and ups the megapixels, 32 would be nice, 28 acceptable, and ISO, I'm there. Not only the 90D, but the 7D Mark III would become irrelevant. So Wayne's hit a couple of points here. Um, the 90D, and I, I uh, alluded to this, or I you know, kind of wrapped up the last video with the viewer spec 90D with this question. Do we even get a 90D DSLR? Or what we're expecting is a 90D, does it come out as a mirrorless? And, and so that's what he says, 90D may be the Canon swan song for DSLR, in which case we, it would be like their last DSLR in that lineup before we get mirrorless. And that's entirely possible. We could have something like the 90D in a mirrorless. So in other words, an update to the M5 uh, for a replacement that's much better spec'd and more like a 90D, but in a mirrorless, as well as a 90D. This may be the last point in camera history for Canon that we get a mirrorless equivalent to a DSLR alongside each other. In other words, a 90D and an M5 Mark II or something like that that are so closely spec'd, just one's mirrorless and one's a DSLR. It's an interesting question because Canon is obviously, as is Nikon, coming to uh, to play here. They, they want to compete with the Sonys. The Sonys are taking their market share. Nikon has shown they are very serious. It's very, we're very excited about these new announcements for August and what the new Nikon full-frame mirrorless will bring us. But then the question is, what will the Canon bring us? Perhaps Canon, as I've said before, is just sitting back waiting to see, before they show their hand, what Nikon is actually doing here before they move forward. But this, an APS-C DSLR, spec like this, would be um, amazing and still a good seller. The question is, do they give us it in a DSLR or do they give us it in a mirrorless? Do we get a swan song for DSLRs in the 90D level of lineup? You know, the 60, 70, 80, 90D. Actually, it goes back all the way to like the 10D. Or is are we done with it? Are we going to see a 90D essentially as a mirrorless? Whether that's a M5 Mark II or whatever they're going to call it, we, are we going to get what we want, what we expect in a 90D update to the 80D as a mirrorless camera? What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. Um, what do you think? Wayne's saying it may be a swan song. We may get a DSLR. But then, uh, or he says it may be mirrorless. Which way do you guys think Canon's going to go on this? Let me know. Uh, let's discuss it. It's at this point, I think, you know, you can make an argument for either side. And I'm not really sure what Canon will do. I guess maybe I'm a little more on the side of they'll give us both for now. We will see a 90 a DSLR update. Then there's a part of me that's the other side of my brain is saying, nope, no, that's not the way it's going to go. They're focusing entirely now on mirrorless. As it looks, perhaps Nikon is going to go hard in. Um, and maybe it's just a question of Nikon and Canon want to see how these, especially the Nikon new full-frame mirrorless, Canon may gauge that as well. If those things go like gangbusters, there's a good chance we'll see an accelerated step down of DSLRs on the Nikon side and on the Canon side. But what do you guys think? Let me know. Let's discuss it. Always great to hear your feedback. You guys often give me something to think about, as is, as did Wayne here. Um, 
uh, and, and it's it's interesting to speculate and to think about this. It's fun. It's part of our hobby. And, uh, you know, gear lust, it's, it goes hand in hand with being a photographer. So uh, thanks, Wayne. Great feedback. Stay tuned. We'll be back soon here at artoftheimage.com.